Hey, how's it going? Hey, one problem that these old Indians had, the uh, Gilroy Indians, with these beach bars, is they would get loose, right? And they would get loose from right here. And um, so just, uh, I've already done this one other time before, but it's going to be a recurring thing. I went airborne on a, over a railroad uh, <clears throat> track, divot, and uh, anyway, so it knocked it loose. But, um, yeah, so I wanted to show you how, how I'm doing it. Uh, first time took me forever. Didn't like it. it was a lot of didn't have enough control. But this time, I'm using the jack to make it level. Just your typical Harbor Freight uh, motorcycle jack. And then I had these uh, straps. And then some. I was working on another bike on here years ago, and I just left them there. But they've been handy to have. But I would just you know tie something from the the ceiling rafters something, and. Uh, you get your bars at a uh, level and where you want them. Also, go ahead and make a mark right there. Get you some tape and stuff so that you can center it. Number one, and also get it exactly where you want it. You just don't you don't want to guess because once you lock it in, and then use these little uh, star washers. It's Loctite blue. It's not going anywhere uh, until you go airborne. <laughs> but uh, anyway. So uh, I'll show you what I'm doing next. The uh, two Allen wrenches you'll need are a quarter inch and five sixteenths. So anyway, um, yeah, basically I, I got the cover off with the five sixteenths and then the, the quarter inch goes right here. So when I take this off, I'll show you. All right, so got this unbolted and uh, yeah, so you can see where it, the little knurls ride on it and <clears throat> It's, it's pretty smooth in there, but these are where the, my other little quarter inch washers were, okay. And they're still in there. And I use this blue Loctite. <clears throat> these are quarter inch um, star washers. So, um, yep, I'm going to take these other guys out, clean it up, and uh, put some other ones back in there, and I'll use that glue so yeah, they just come right out. I'll use this uh, thread locker kind of hold them in place as I'm tightening it down. It actually does help to uh, lock it in a little bit better. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, yep. yep. Dab those guys on there so they're held in place right now. And I'll just put the cover back on. I just blend it out a little bit with a wire brush. You can see where last time it did bite into those a little bit. Speaking of Loctite, uh, it'd be good to go ahead and Loctite all of these in blue. As I'm tightening these down, you notice that I can still move the bars a little bit. But I'm making sure it's between my two pieces of tape so it's centered and it's also still following this this uh, seam right here. So just keep tightening, alternate, watch your gaps. Make sure you're not going to have a huge gap and a small gap here so keep your gaps about the same. Wait, there are these little nuts right at the bottom here on each one. So this little guy popped out of this one. So, anyway, I'll just have to pop it back in here for it to clamp onto something. So, these may pop out. Alright, got it locked down pretty tight. And so, anyway, you can see there's just a tiny bit of gap here, a tiny bit of gap here. Everything's centered. My lines are still good here. And, um, still got a little bit of gap down in here and everything. So, uh, next up is just put the... I'm going to take these pieces of tape off after that, put the cover on, and then uh, use a little Loctite on these dudes. And once again, a 5 16 um, Allen wrench, and then I'll be done. Well, that's it. Good to go. Um, just wanted to show you how I did it the second time around. Uh, it took a lot less time. And so I hope you save some time doing it yourself also. So um, be safe out there.